fuck, 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 fuck. If you guys are watching this video, it's not for a good reason. Basically, what you're looking at is what's left of my 2017 Yamaha FC10. Do a quick walk around. You can see it's fucked up here, fucked up here, went down pretty hard here, a uh, little nick there. This is all scratched up through here. This whole fairing got ripped off. Lost a little fin back here. Rear tire is completely flat. Housing for the rear light is cracked. This light is all scratched up. The Austin Racing tip is scratched. Just look how nicely this thing was bluing out too. God, I was just getting really into this pipe. On this mirror, really uh, some solid slide there with my good old Rhino Moto bar ends. These stayed on somehow, I'm not sure how. Probably the thing that puts it over the edge is this front wheel damage. If you look in here, you can see a bunch of debris. That's where this made contact with the hill. And ultimately, I mean, handlebars look straight now. Tires, you know, not straight. So the alignment's off. You're looking at a technically totaled 2017 Yamaha FZ10. I'm trying to beat up on some other guys who make videos, but the first thing I just want to say is, you know, I'm not going to like launch a, a Patreon or ask for a GoFundMe or some shit to help pay for it. Uh, not only is it entirely my fault and I need to pay for it to learn from it, but I've also got like pretty heavy insurance and this is a toy and I don't buy toys that are going to put me into financial danger. And so, you know, this thing burns to the ground tomorrow, life goes on. Having said that though, I am pretty pissed off because I did... I'm, I'm mad and I'm happy at the same time. I did a lot of work on this bike, which I really enjoyed. I had a great time making this, you know, the blacked out mean monster that it was. And I had a lot of fun pushing this bike to the limits that I found it, you know, able to keep up with. And I'm just, I'm a bit unhappy that it lasted as, as little time as it did. And I ended up fucking up as soon as I did. For me, it's my first incident. I've never been involved in any incident on a motorcycle in the past, not on my FC09. I got cocky. I got arrogant. And, um, you know, I did something that I've done 1,500 million times before, and it just so happened that, like, there was this perfect circumstantial uh, setup of the environment and whatnot that just caused that type of action and that type of scenario to lead to uh, a short loss of control that ultimately led to the inability to make a corner in time, and I feel pissed off because you know i just this is my toy i spent a lot of money on it i enjoyed working on it and i love riding it more than anything else is i just i love it and it, you know i would have been happier to just continue my ride that day go home park it and just have it be like any other day but at the same time i'm actually kind of happy and you're probably like what the fuck dude you totaled 2017 fz10 that you put a ton of money and work into like how could you be happy i'm happy because look at this like you know look i got my fucking legs and arms and I'm untouched. I picked my bike up. If you ever see the video, like I, I had no problem. I landed on my feet, walked over, picked the bike up, walked it to the side. You know, I, I was literally perfectly physically fine. And that, in my opinion, is a blessing because, you know, the way it did happen, it, I, it's not like I had a controlled crash. When it when it actually kind of came down to that last second, I was kind of ragdolled. I really didn't have much control. And... I'm just grateful that I got this wake-up call, this lesson, this kind of, you know, bring me back to reality, this instant karma that's saying, like, if you're going to be an idiot, you got to pay the price sometimes, and I'm happy that that happened in such a minor way. At the same time, like, I think it's good for myself and for everyone who watches my channel to see that, like, guys like me that do this and other guys that, you know, like, real professionals, not just amateur dudes on motorcycles like me who just go out and fucking risk it, but, like, real pros have incidents. And it's just a, it's a dangerous thing. Like, you got to be down to earth about it. You got to be realistic about it. And you can't just like, you can't believe that you are the way I was. You cannot believe that you're just going to be able to handle every scenario, no matter how hard you push it, no matter how reckless you are. You think you have the skill to overcome the odds against you because, you know, like, if you guys ever see what I'm talking about, like, it happens like this. Here we go. Key. I say uh, just because the Austin Racing pipe was such a hit. And you know, Austin Racing, if you're watching it all, I got a lot of people asking about this pipe, man. I mean, like, everybody would say this bike sounds incredible. My next bike is compatible with Austin Racing, most likely. The ones I'm looking at are. And I'm probably going to get another Austin Racing pipe. But I, I just love the way this one sounds. And I, we just got to turn around. I mean, it's about midnight here in San Francisco in my garage. I just got 
back from my office. Oh look, my uh, my Blaster X tail light still flashes all nice. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. It's warped. You can like, it's twisted. It's not straight. <laughs> what the fuck happened? But yeah, let's hear the exhaust one more time. <laughs> I can't believe I fucking totaled this thing. There you go. 3529. 3529 miles. Uh was an absolute pleasure, Mr. FZ10. You uh you're a great bike, you know? And I I failed you. I wasn't respectful enough, wasn't good enough. Should have been better. But yeah, man. There she is. Uh so anyways, like I said, usually when I sign off, I say, Oh, it's been an awesome ride. Can't wait to see you guys again. Uh, that's obviously not the case here. It's It's been a good life for this bike and is too short, but I'm I'm happy about it. And uh, until I see you guys on the next one, you might see some test videos in between, but until I see you in the next one, peace. If I'm left, then it ain't awesome. So you tell your friends and they call your friends. Baby, never mind, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. If I'm left, then it ain't awesome. So you tell your friends.